since we're getting to uh, we're getting closer to Halloween. I don't know. There's, there's, there is controversy within within Christian people. I, I've just done a couple of weeks of, in the last couple of weeks. There's some Christians who think that nothing's wrong with 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 celebrating Halloween, and others think it is. And and then even if you go to God Answer, what is it? God Questions or God Answers or GodQuestions.org. God Questions. God Questions. God Questions. Yeah. Even then, it says you know if somebody's I don't know they they kind of they're kind of like in the middle. And so our Bible study group is called What Does the Bible Say? So I think we got to just stick to that. You know, who cares what Paul right. thinks? Once you may think it's bad, or someone else may think it's not bad, but what does the Bible say about witches and witchcraft and all this other stuff, right? Well, let's turn to the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 through 14. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 through 14. So I'll give you an Old Testament passage, and I'll give you a New Testament. Just in case someone doesn't like the Old Testament. In case the Old Testament's not enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we'll give you a new one too. So Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. When you come into the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. So if I was writing that for today's times, I would say, so when you're coming to America, you must not learn to follow the abominations America does. Verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through fire or one who practices witchcraft or soothsaying or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer or one who conjures spells or a medium or a spiritualist or one who calls up the dead. All these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives him out from, from before you. You shall be blameless before your Lord, the Lord your God. For these nations, which you will dispose, listen to soothsayers and div diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for, for you. So here God's telling us not to follow those ways. He's saying, that is not for you. You, my people, you are not supposed to follow these things. Don't practice witchcraft, do sin, or interpret omens, or sorcery, or cast spells, or go to a um, one of the people that read palm reader, palm reader, Readers. and spiritualist, and someone who calls up the dead. You know, you're thinking, well, I don't go to those things. People dress up like that at a Halloween party, and we think it's cute. We dress up our little... <laughs> Like little witches and think it's cute. We dress up like little sorcerers and think it's cute. God just finished telling you that this is an abomination to him. So now let's go to Revelation chapter 1. We'll go to the last book of the Bible. Revelation chapter 21. 20. Revelation 21, verse 6, 7, and 8. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderer, the sexual immoral, and here it is. The sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. So how does God, what does the Bible say about witchcraft and sorcery and all this stuff? Number one, it's an abomination to him. Number two, if you're practicing such things, your fate is the lake of fire. And... In, in the book of Acts, I'm not sure what chapter it is, Paul confronted some sorcerers and, 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 and mediums and all these things, and they came to Jesus Christ because God is gracious that way. And you know what these people did? They burned their books. And the NLT version says the amount of worth of those books was millions of dollars. 
So yes, there's forgiveness of sins for those sorcerers and those witches and those who commit abominations if they repent. But what does the Bible say about witches and witchcraft and all this stuff? It's an abomination to him. Yeah, actually, it's one of the uh, <clears throat> acts of the sinful nature in Galatians. Which is five, yeah. Yeah, yep. right there. You're absolutely right, Posse. I, you know, yeah, you know, they, they put it on. It's like, oh, it's safe, trunk or treat. You know, what else would be? I mean, they make it fun. You know, they make it, you know, right. fun for the kids. But actually, I mean, the way the, the Halloween originated, it was in celebration of those uh, evil spirits. And we turned it into a, a uh, you know, acceptable thing. And so the word of God says, don't imitate. Right. Those things uh, are detestable. And, you know, we do it now, you know, just because, oh, it's safer now to have it on the church premises. We, we draw people in by celebrating uh an evil thing. You're trying to draw kids into church. Oh, it's just candy. You know. Drawing them in, uh, drawing them into church with worldly means. And then yeah. once once we get them there, then we'll preach the gospel to them. Or or, or we won't. And we right. won't. We also won't preach repentance. Do we? Do we do that? <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll we'll preach soft messages. But you attract them with an ungodly message. Right. Um, what was that? And then who, who did that? Did you have Ponce on, or I think Lauren did that? Oh yeah, the God, the, the word of God is enough. Lord. And you know, do we need to attract? What was that scripture? I think I think you did it, Ponce. That scripture about the uh, parable of the rich man. Mm. Yep. You know, and he you know says, Elijah goes, well, you know, send him down to my brother so that they could see. He goes. If they don't believe Moses, right? You know, yeah, with Moses and the prophets, right? And they're gonna believe that either, <laughs> right? So that's that should be enough for you to do right. that. But yeah, but you're right, Pastor. You're absolutely right. I've always thought that, you know, but you know, this rap every church does it, mm -hmm. and um, and we're gonna miss out. We won't get the kids. Yeah, my daughter's fourteen. She's still alive. <laughs> Didn't miss it very much, okay? Mm. Many churches have Santa Claus. Right. Does it, I, you can look it up. They even have Christian magicians. I mean, they called Christian magicians just because they slapped the name Christian in front of it. Pretty soon you'll have Christian sorcerers, <laughs> Christian mediums. Christian palm readers. I mean, eventually they they just slapped the name Christian in front of it. What if Jesus came back and saw a truck or treat celebration? <laughs> what do you think? He'd probably drive them out just like he did the uh... turn over them cars, huh? <laughs> well, you mentioned that if. Jesus came back and saw a uh, trunk or treat. What what would he say? Um, well, indeed, yeah. With you know, along with what he did with the temple, you know, turning over turning over cars, turning over the you know the the dunk tanks, you know, or, or, or whatever. Um, but one question, um, and this isn't this is question didn't come from me, but I've heard it before. If um, if Jesus came to the church. How many churches wouldn't ask him to come back All right. if Jesus came and preached? Sadly, mm -hmm. many of them probably would not. They would say, you know, that that guy takes this Christianity thing and the scripture way too seriously. We are not having him back. Paul Washer said that that's happened to him lots of times. He's been at, he's been you know invited to come and and speak at a church. He'll he'll speak at a church or a college or something, and it's a one and done. They they don't ask him to come back. <laughs> well, you've heard his messages. Right? I mean, plenty of his messages, huh? Yeah. yeah. So. 
We don't want that guy back. Brother Thang, what do you, what do you, oh, what do you, okay. what do you guys think of? Yeah, Hulk? yes. I, 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 I just want to know how did they celebrate on that Halloween they won? Mm. Well, in America, oh. little, little children dress up like um, different oh. things. You know, it could be Superman. It could be they dress up like in in, in suits. Some of them dress up like witches, um, firemen, um, cops, yeah, um, superheroes. Um, they just dress up like different things, including witches and goblins and and bad stuff. Even little devils. Oh. You know? Some people dress up like little oh. devils. And so what they do, they, they they grab a bag and they go from door to door. They knock and they're asking for candy. And people give them candy if they're dressed up. And adults, they go to Halloween parties. So they have these parties. They go oh. to everyone dresses up. Some people dress up like witches. Others dress up very sexy, very, you know, sensual. Others dress up like just different characters. They get drunk. They have parties. They celebrate. Okay. And people say, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. We're just having a good time. We're not celebrating witches. We're just having a good time. We're not really witches. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But we never have that one in our country. Mm. But in this month, it, we have the dangers we call the Buddhists, they have uh, their, their culture, their culture, or say, like, like the Christmas, uh, they have their, their culture, uh, pet, pet, uh, festival in this month mm. in October. Mm. Yeah. See, they don't even know what it is. Shame to us. 